So as we've been mentioning, the storm that's headed our way could make travel nearly impossible this weekend. So really today, you got to do the preparations. Our squad is in place. Our storm squad. Kayla Fish live in Coventry this morning. More on how people are getting ready. Good morning, Kayla. Hey, good morning, Patrick and Danielle. Yeah, that's right. Uh, now is really the time to prepare, especially because of everything that's headed our way tomorrow. We're live here this morning at the Walmart in Coventry, and uh, it opened just about an hour ago, and it's busy this morning. I spoke to a handful of shoppers who said that they were uh, just stopping by maybe before work to pick up those essential items. And uh, if you still need to run out and grab any uh, food or water or anything else you need, you might be surprised by what you find or what you don't find from the grocery stores to the hardware stores, gas stations. All of them were packed yesterday with people grabbing what they need to weather the storm. That might mean food, water, batteries, shovels and salt, wood pellets, you name it. 12 News spoke with some shoppers yesterday, some who say they had trouble finding what they needed with some shelves empty. And there are plenty of people out here early this morning making sure they're prepared. Usually I don't shop this early, but Friday is my usual usual shopping day, but I know it's going to be crazy because of the storm. So I came out early and there's a lot more people here than what normally see. So I'm trying to get everything done early before the storm and before people really start coming out and doing what they need to do. So you can expect stores to be busy throughout the day. People just making sure that they have what they need to really just stay home all weekend. Like we've been mentioning all morning long travel expected to be uh, difficult, if not dangerous or impossible tomorrow. So you want to just be ready to stay home. And uh, speaking of being prepared, we have a list of parking bans, power outage resources and all that and more. You can find it on our website, WPRI.com. We're live in Coventry this morning. I'm Kayla Fish, 12 News. All right, Kayla briefly mentioned that, you know, cities and towns do have parking bans in effect already, including in Providence. That city also announcing plans to close their recreation centers all day tomorrow. We spoke with mayors of Providence and Warwick about their snow preparations. They tell us that their drivers and private contractors are fully staffed, even with recent COVID cases. We're not down at all because we have a water department and our um, sanitation drivers all have CDLs, so they're capable of filling in. Thankfully, we've had you know well up into the high 90s uh, compliance with this policy, and it makes it so that we have more drivers out there to you know healthy and ready to go for a storm like this when they're needed. And back in Warwick, Mayor Pocosi tells us the parking ban in his city is something that they're taking seriously. So vehicles parked out on the roadways on Saturday, they will be towed. You can find a full list of parking bans that we mentioned right now at WPRI.com. In Massachusetts, plow drivers preparing for what they expect to be a very long weekend on the road. Some cities and towns shorthanded this winter in Sudbury, Mass. They're desperate for plow drivers. Head of the DPW says he's working with just half of his regular crew. Yeah, right now I have more pieces than people to drive it. So if there are down trees with the, the additional wind we're going to see, then we have to pull those teammates off, tend to the tree issue, and then get back on their plow routes. Silver lining to all of this, officials hope to have an easier time clearing the roads because the storm hits on the weekend. Hopefully more people will be staying at home and not out on the roads. Pinpoint Weather Team has you covered every step of the way today, tomorrow, Sunday. We will be here tomorrow morning. Live coverage starting at 6 a.m. over on WPRI 12. Meteorologist Tony Petraka joining us this morning and rather not this morning. He's up this morning, I'm sure, yeah. tweeting and <laughs> socialize, social mediaing and Facebooking the latest <laughs> information. But he will be on the air with us tomorrow morning starting at 6 a.m. He will. And throughout the storm, we will have you covered with breaking news, important safety announcements as they happen on air and online. And don't forget those 12 news weather and news apps as well. All right, we're going to bring you an update now on the preps. Today is all about preps, right? As we're getting ready for this storm, people across southern New England have been at the stores big time, haven't they? I saw the pictures yesterday on social media that people were posting, and I said, that's where I'm not going to go. Mm -hmm. But if you do need to go, get there early this morning. Stores will be packed, long lines at uh, gas pumps as well. Kayla Fish is in Coventry, and uh, I believe you're near a Walmart, and that parking lot looks like it's already pretty filled up behind you there, Kayla. 
Yeah, that's right, Patrick. I was just saying it almost kind of feels like an early Saturday morning. That's normally the day that a lot of people do their grocery shopping for the week. And uh, a few of the shoppers that I've spoken with here said because travel is expected to be nearly impossible tomorrow, they wanted to get all of their shopping done today. Some people stopping by here before work and uh, the people I spoke with said inside this Walmart here in Coventry, it's busier than normal. It is uh, about 730 in the morning, not normally a busy time for shoppers, but it certainly is the case today. And as you mentioned, grocery stores, hardware stores all expected to be busy today as people prepare to pretty much just stay put with the travel expected tomorrow to be uh, really heavily impacted by the storm. It's a good time to make sure that you have everything you need to just hunker down at home. That means making sure you have plenty of food, water, batteries, shovels and ice melt, wood pellets, making sure your car and your generator are all stocked up with gas, you name it. Last night, 12 News spoke with some shoppers who thought they would be beating the crowds, but instead found packed stores and some empty shelves. As for how people feel about the impending storm, well, the reviews are mixed. It's it's due. We haven't had one in a long time, so I remember the blizzard of 78. I'm that old, so it, but it doesn't scare me. I'm prepared. You know, most New Englanders are prepared for it, so I'm just excited that it's coming. If we're going to have a, big, a snowstorm, let it be a big one. Now, on the other end of the spectrum, 12 News spoke with a man yesterday who described the storm as uh, a nightmare. So uh, whether you are excited about it or nervous or not really thrilled, it's headed our way regardless. So you want to make sure you're prepared. We have a complete list of resources for you on our website right now, WPRI.com. We're live in Coventry this morning. I'm Kayla Fish, 12 News. Storm will obviously impact any travel plans you may have for the weekend. If you're flying out today, you should be fine, and I'm jealous. Spokesperson from TF Green in Warwick says uh, make sure you sign up for the alerts with your airline. PVD app allows you to see all the flights taking off at TF Green International Airport, and the, uh, the uh, airlines are going to keep you up to date. If you're flying American, a spokesperson with the company says they've issued a travel notice which allows customers impacted by the storm to reschedule without any change fees. And by the way, at last check, good news, all flights out of TF Green today are on time. All right, quick reminder about the numbers you can put aside. As we just heard in that report, we could see power outages. So National Grid customers, your number to call 1-800-465-1212. Eversource, here's the number you would need, 1-800-592-2000. For people in the Pasco Utility District, the number 568-6222. And Block Island Utility District customers, your number to report an outage, 466-5851. Of course, our entire Pinpoint Weather Team, we'll, we've got you covered every step of the way. We will all be here when you wake up tomorrow morning. Live coverage begins at 6 a.m. on Saturday. Chief Meteorologist Tony Pertaka will be with us as well to update you with all the latest storm data. Yeah, looking forward to seeing Tony tomorrow. We don't get to see him very often working the shift throughout the storm. We'll have breaking news, important safety announcements on air online at WPRI.com and the 12 News Weather News apps as well. In